howdy, hey everybody, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got our very first look at the upcoming star path for the new Tiana update. As you know, every single update, they release a set of like three emojis and it's supposed to hint towards items or characters or just anything revolving around the update. And this update is no different. Now, if you guys do enjoy my content at all or want to stay up to date with everything at Dreamlight Valley and the upcoming update, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Only 67% of people that watch my content daily are subscribed. So make sure you don't miss out and let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so they said a new update is on its way, and you guessed it, it's Star Path Teaser Time. Can you guess what our next theme will be from the emojis below? Alright, so we have a fire emoji and a fly. So, this definitely points to fireflies, right? So we do have Ray from the Princess and the Frog. This is the first thing that it makes me think, are we getting a firefly costume of Ray? <laughs> I hope not. I really, really hope not. But you know how they be doing with the onesies in this game. Uh, would we actually get Ray as a character? I don't think so. Would we get Ray as like a little companion? Probably not. So I'm wondering how they are going to implement. I mean, that's the most obvious thing, right? Maybe. Could you imagine if they just gave us like just actual literal fireflies to decorate biomes with? Like, you know, the floating lanterns within the game. What if we had a group of like fireflies that you could place around in different locations to decorate with? That may be a bit of a stretch for DLV, but you never know. Sometimes they surprise us. I would actually be hyped for that. Imagine having fireflies as a furniture like piece over in the glade or even in your dream snap. I mean, that would be so cool. Maybe in the background with all the trees and stuff. I really, really hope so. All right, up next we have a feather and what is this? A scarf. So based on the whole time period, the whole 1920s theme, Princess and the Frog, I think it's safe to say that we're getting feather boas added to the game, which are the long little like feather scarves. I'll throw an example on the screen here. And this definitely has to point towards that. And they like to add furniture or uh they like to add like different clothing options to the game and I think they're always looking for ways to expand. So they could possibly add this, which I think is going to be great for future dream snaps. And it just makes sense. So I feel like fireflies and the feather boas are what make the most amount of sense here. If you guys have any ideas, don't feel ashamed, embarrassed or anything like that. Let us know in the comment section below. Every idea is always a great idea and we would love to hear. It. I mean, we just really don't know. And lastly, we have Droplet, so water. And then we have Tokyo Tower, which I think is just supposed to be like a tower. So definitely like water tower. And the only thing I can think of is Tiana's water tower added to the game. It's like a big wooden one. And that would be cool. You know, we have the Mickey Tower in the game. And the Mickey Towers are actually one of the most underrated items for Dream Snaps. I love seeing them in the back. So if we had like Tiana's Bayou and had a water tower theme based around it, I think that would be really cool as well. So that's got to be my three guesses. I'm going to drop a heart on this and comment it down below. Let's take a look and see what everyone else has thought. Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, fireflies, feather boas, and water tower. Underwater fish over here actually said firefly makes me think of Ray from Princess and the Frog and since Tiana's coming to town That's my guess a hundred percent. Yeah, I act. Oh, and there's the uh, the feather boas right there So yeah, right here in this picture is perfect as to what two of those are probably most likely gonna be Are you guys excited for these? I still am hoping we get just fireflies to decorate with like, you know, the lanterns just having them spaced out Please, game off, please. Slev over here, watching the movie for the first time this weekend, or this week, and I'm excited for this guy. So how are they going to implement Ray into it if he's a firefly? I don't know. <laughs> please don't be another onesie costume. I can't. I just can't with it. Oh, here we go. So Alex over here actually posted, uh, don't tell me we're getting Tiana's water tower from Tiana's Bayou Adventure. 
So yeah, they uh, made this over there in uh, Disney World, and I think it could be this. And look, it has her little uh, like tiara crown on top of it. So that would be really, really cute. So Amy over here said Firefly, a uh, feather wrap like the feather boa and water tower. This sounds like Tiana's new ride will be the theme. I hope we get a certain little bug as a companion. What if they're adding the new ride as a way to like uh, advertise it a little bit as well? Maybe they would drop that into the game in one way. I don't think so. I don't think the ride would actually fit in there, but definitely items and themes based around it for sure. And so far, that's pretty much it on what they've shared. So they did end up sharing the roadmap the other day and then uh, a little news a letter. And then now we have hints towards the star path. So it sounds like this update is shaping up to be pretty dang cool. If we quickly take a look at the roadmap again. So we are getting uh, Tiana and uh, this building behind her is actually her restaurant. So we're getting her restaurant. And we're also getting a new stall, like a new food cart that's going to sell pre-made meals to players in exchange for, I'm assuming, just the gold currency within the game, the uh, coins. So it says, Tiana joins the valley, bringing new culinary delights. She's also supposed to have a quest line that intertwines with Remy and also Mother Gothel. So we are going to have to deal with Mother Gothel a lot. I'm not surprised. They pretty much put Mother Gothel through like every single quest line and character that comes to the game. I was hoping they'd finally give her a rest. At least let us deal with uh, Ursula a little bit if we're going to deal with uh, some of the villains. But it does look like we're going to have to deal with Mother Gothel. We are also getting the part three and final part of the paid expansion. If you've already purchased the Rift in Time, this will come to you for free. And then we're getting Timon and Pumbaa over here in October. And then we're getting a showcase stream, which I am 99.9% .9 sure I know exactly what this is referring to. So stay tuned for a video on that coming up. And uh, I have a pretty good theory and it's completely different from anything I've heard from everyone or I've seen around the internet. And I think I'm pretty spot on. So look out for that video. And then lastly, in late 2024, we have, of course, some more Nightmare Before Christmas coming out. Uh, characters, maybe themed items. Looks like we're getting the fireplace, uh, desk, and the windows finally. So that looks really exciting as well. It really looks like that's all the news that we have. Uh, I've covered up pretty much everything in more detail up to this point on uh, my videos for the past couple days. So if you're interested and you want to look at that, you can check those videos out. So I guess we'll just wrap the video up with a little bit of voting and also checking out Scrooge's shop. And if you hang around to finish the video, I really do appreciate you. It helps support the channel. But let's go take a look and see what we have in here. I actually got this giant present for the first time last week. And I was surprised because I thought I had every single present in the game. Nothing over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, literally nothing. And I also ended up finishing my dream snap. If you guys are interested in taking a look, I will share it with you, especially since you're still here in the video. So current challenge is picnic day. I may switch it up a little bit if I have time, but I have been pretty busy this week, so I wanted to get it done. And this is my current submission. So it is a outfit challenge. I decided to go for a more up close submission, which I usually don't do. I want to see how well it's going to go. My tags are pretty dang high. I think they're like 11, 12, 12, and like 7 or 8. So uh, they're very high. I did end up getting Bill sitting down over here. I have Wally in the picture. He's floating around, but I couldn't get him to stay. I really want to get him over here like posing or even getting him sitting on the bench. And I didn't go overboard with like fireworks or tons of sparkles. Just left a little bit. I went with just a, uh, a more simple route. And this filter, I actually really like. I like the way it makes the colors, the trees, and everything pop. So uh, it's it's not as complicated as I usually do. It is a more simple submission. And we're going to roll with it and see how we uh, fare. I, I actually like the submission. And I think we'll do okay. Now, voting literally has been so much fun this week. I have come across the most amazing submissions. You know, usually throughout the v the weeks, we usually don't get too many top tier amazing submissions. Seems like we get, I at least, end up voting on a lot of just random pictures of the ground in the valley or, you know, just a bunch of random pictures behind them. But I've been seeing pictures of players' actual valleys come up a lot like this one. 
and it just really makes me happy to see how different everyone's valleys are and each submission has been very very uh, beautiful because it's something you can really tell they put their their heart into decorating instead of you know just trying to quickly get your dream snap done so it is nice to see everyone's valley and this week has just been awesome like look at this uh, alice in wonderland they have like mad hatter vibes over here and this is too cute look at the table set up all the variety of chairs i love that we got a little beach submission i gotta go with this one though i'm a huge fan and hopefully alice in wonderland at some point Ooh, look at this beach submission see this is something they definitely already have decorated on their beach i love it love the character the outfit got the shipwreck over on this side and then a uh, little eternity isle pitch i gotta go with that one gorgeous uh, this is pretty cute they set up their plaza very nicely and then also another nice view of their valley Got a nighttime shot. Looks like Moana is at like a food stall, like a stand. We got Goofy fishing over here, barely peeking through. Got to go. Th oh, their character is matching with the turtle. That's actually too cute. Oh, selfie mode. I'll go with this one. Okay, hold up. They got the new bell cottage area set up nicely. Looks like this is in their Force of Valor. What are all these trees going on? Oh, it's their beach. I wonder why they didn't take that shot at daytime. I, that would have looked really, really gorgeous at daytime. Got a sunlit plateau build. Couple selfie shots. Oh, they got Peter Pan. I forgot about this outfit. And they actually have the crocodile. <laughs> Let's go. Love it. Love to see it. Us, uh, Mirabelle. Whoa, here we go. Got some spooky vibes going on with the Megara dress. Or Megara. Megara, I believe is how her name's pronounced. I love this. It's almost spooky season, guys. Imagine the star path that we're going to get in the new like Halloween-themed decor. I, I'm so pumped. I seriously can't wait. Got to give a vote to that one. This one is just beautiful. The sun, the filter, and everything. Hey, hey. Nailed it. Let's see, what else? Couple selfie modes here. Uh, plaza pictures. Selfie mode, character's cute, we'll give them a vote. Lots of dark submissions, here we go. This one's nice, bright, and like beautiful. Got the reflections of China in the background over here on the sunlit plateau. It actually looks pretty good over here. This building doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we'll give them a vote. The selfie mode. <laughs> Look at their character. They got a little view of Merlin's house. They were like, you know what? That's my favorite view. Uh, plaza build. Whoa, interesting angle over here in Eternity Isle. They got, looks like they set up an amusement area over there. Oh, I do like this one though. I like the angle on the other shot. This one, their character looks great. And I love this area that they ended up building. Lighting the sky and everything. I think I'm gonna go with this one actually. Well, dark submissions, some frozen themes. Like to see that they're using Mulan in this submission. Got many peeking through the bushes. Whoa, these are both really beautiful, but look at all the flowers. Yeah, I just wish the lighting was a little different on this one, but it looks great. Uh, maybe the brightness filter, the last one would have really made these flowers pop out a lot because uh, some of it's kind of dark and it could be my monitor too. But that one looks awesome. This one is really nice. It looks like they nailed the lighting and I love the setup that they have over here by a skull rock. I'm going to vote for this one though because it, it looks like a pretty big build. Okay, here we go. We got the Hercules themed item, the Megara dress, got the pink cobra, pink flowers. You got Oswald lounging over here. <laughs> They got a nice view, but I got to go with that one. That is just really unique. This one's really cute, too. Got over on the beach. Everyone has their beach decorated very nicely. And I've also never seen the vine walls set up on the beach. So that looks pretty cool. Yeah, we got to vote for that one. Let's get 10 more in here. We'll do one, two. Oh, spooky vibes again. Love the outfit. I'm curious how the Halloween ones are going to do this week. I think that's four uh five oh my gosh look at the sky on this we'll do six seven uh we'll do eight 
Nine. And our final one going to this one right here. Oh, this one. Perfect one to end on. This is beautiful. Massive build. Lots of colors. Lots going on. Absolutely. All right. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a really great day. Hopefully more teasers tomorrow and going forward. I'll be sure to bring them to you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next one.